welcome back guys now let's discuss about ventilation per fusion ratios okay we have discussed about the ventilation and also we have seen about perfusion what is ventilation denoted with v and perfusion is denoted with p r q q is also a denotion for perfusion now we have seen what is the true ventilation or the alveolar ventilation alveolar ventilation that is the amount of air okay amount of air going to the alveolus every minute how much amount of air is going 4 liters okay minute ventilation is 6 liters but out of that 6 liters how much is really involved in gases exchange that is the alveolar ventilation how much only 4 liters and also we have seen the perfusion perfusion is nothing but the blood flow to the lungs how much is the blood flow to the lungs every minute perfusion q is equal to 5 liters so v by q ventilation perfusion ratio is 4 by 5 from this we can say we are putting 4 liters of air okay 4 liters of air into alveolus and also we are sending 5 liters of blood for oxygenation so ventilation is 4 liters perfusion is 5 liters so 4 by 5 is 0 0.8 so ventilation perfusion ratio in a healthy individual in a healthy individual is 0 0.8 but this is not same in all the regions of the lung in the middle lobe of the lungs it is 0 0.8 true but ventilation perfusion ratio in the apex of lung is different in the basis of lung is different okay now let's talk about ventilation perfusion ratio in different areas of lung to understand this let's draw lung here in a simple way this is simple lung where we are showing bronchus now this bronchus is dividing I am showing you three alveoli I have already taught you the alveoli in the apex of the lung are larger in the middle of the in the middle lobes of the lung they are of medium size in the base of the lung they are even smaller okay let me make it even more smaller so that you can understand it better small alveoli are there in the base of the lung so let's divide into three regions apex middle lobes and base i have already taught you in the middle lobes of the lung the mid lobes ventilation perfusion ratio is 0 0.8 but in the apex of lung it is different in the base vq ratio is different now why it is so see guys in the apex of lung there are some important points which you need to know first of all in the apex alveoli alveoli are larger okay and they are larger in size see i am saying they are larger in size whenever they are larger in size what will be the compliance see already they are larger can you further stretch them no so the alveoli in the apex of lung are having more complaint or less complaints they are having less complaints why they are less complaints why? because already they are open already they are stretched you can't further stretch them when you can't further stretch them is there is any air going into them very less air is going to them why because they are already open already some air is there so you cannot put extra air into it okay or you can keep only less air into it so what is the ventilation in the apex of the lung in the apex of the lung ventilation is less ventilation is less there is no doubt ventilation is less but when you see in the base of the lung in the base of the lung what about the alveoli let me write it with a different color in the base of the lung alveoli are large or smaller okay they are smaller 
Now, if they are smaller, they can be stretched further. So, they are more compliant. Okay. Now, if they are more compliant, what happened to ventilation? They can be stretched more. They can be more ventilated. So, ventilation is more. So, with this, what we can say? In the apex of the lung, ventilation is less. In the base of the lung, ventilation is more. So, let us take a note here guys, very important point. In the apex, when you move from apex to base, okay, when you move from apex to base, ventilation increases. Okay, increases. In the same way, what about perfusion? I have already taught you in the previous video. In the apex of the lung, the blood vessels are compressed. Small blood vessels are there. In the base of the lung, the blood vessels are bigger in size. Okay, let me show you in this image also. Here, in the apex of the lung, the blood vessels are smaller because the alveoli are compressing the blood vessels. And in the base of the lung, the blood vessels are more bigger in size. So, what happened to perfusion when you move from apex to base? When you move from apex to base, even perfusion, okay, perfusion also increases. So, when you are moving from apex to base, both ventilation and perfusion gradually increases. So, in the apex, ventilation is lesser as well as perfusion is lesser. In the base, there is more ventilation as well as more perfusion. But, see, in the apex, what is the difference between ventilation and perfusion? Yes, we all know, ventilation is lesser, perfusion is lesser. But, I am comparing ventilation and perfusion. Both are lesser, but when compared to perfusion, Ventilation is greater. So, in the apex, ventilation is greater than perfusion. Guys, never ever get confused. Yes, I am sticking to my word. I have taught you in the apex, ventilation is lesser, perfusion is lesser. In the base, ventilation is more, perfusion is more. There is no doubt. But in comparison basis, if I have to compare head to head, in the apex, Ventilation is less, but when compared to perfusion, ventilation is greater. So, let me write it down here. In the apex, ventilation is more compared to perfusion. Perfusion is lesser. So, in the apex, V by Q ratio, okay, V by Q ratio is 3.2. Okay, ventilation is 3, uh, ventilation perfusion ratio is 3.2. So, what does this 3.2 mean by this 3.2 says us there is ventilation but perfusion is not enough. There is less perfusion when compared to ventilation. Ventilation is greater than perfusion. So, extra air is available in the apex. More the ventilation perfusion ratio, more oxygen is available. Okay, more oxygen is available. Why? Because there is no enough amount of blood coming to the upper regions. There is no enough amount of blood coming to the apex of the lung. So, extra oxygen is available in the apex of the lung. Now, why I am stressing this is because as the ventilation perfusion ratio is greater in the apex of lung, it denotes more oxygen is available in the apex of lung. So, that is the reason why. Okay, as... V by Q is 3.2, it indicates that is more oxygen is available. So, in mycobacterium TB, okay, in mycobacterium TB infection, which lobes will be mainly affected? Mycobacterium TB is an aerobic organism. So, where more oxygen is available in the apex? So, in mycobacterium TB, apex, uh, in TB infection, apex is most commonly affected. 
at the upper lobes of lungs are most commonly affected by because there is more availability of oxygen or the oxygen tension in the upper lobes of the lungs is a more ventilation perfusion ratio is greater in the apex of the lungs now let's see what is the ventilation perfusion ratio in base okay in the apex we have discussed it is 3.2 in the base of the lungs we know we have discussed the base ventilation is more and even perfusion is also more more ventilation is there because the alveoli are more compliant more air is going to the base of the lung and even more blood is also going to the base of the lung ventilation is greater perfusion is greater but head to head basis comparison basis when compared to ventilation perfusion is greater in the base so perfusion is greater than venti Ventilation, perfusion is greater. So let's write it down here, something like this. In the base of the lung, yes, ventilation is greater. There is no doubt, ventilation is greater. But perfusion, okay, perfusion is even more. So what is the ventilation perfusion ratio in the base of the lung? It is 0 0.6. Okay, not even 0 0.8. It's a 0 0.6. This 0 0.6 indicates more blood is coming when compared to amount of air more blood is coming so ventilation perfusion ratio is 0 0.6 now with this we can say in the apex of the lung in the middle lobes in the base ventilation perfusion ratios are different ventilation perfusion ratio in the apex of the lung okay v by q is 3.2 in the middle lobes of the lung v by q is 0 0.8 in the base of the lung, V by Q ratio is 0 0.6. Now, with this, we have seen the ventilation perfusion ratios in apex, middle lobes and the bases. Okay, guys, we have seen the ventilation perfusion ratios in the different, different regions of the lungs. In the next video, we will discuss about ventilation perfusion mismatches and their examples.